<laughs> we are back on Sister Circle Live, and uh, Ebony Steele is here. Of course, I am. Coco Brown is here, hey. and we are joined by Angela Yee at the table. Welcome to the table. This is when it goes all down. Right. We have a seat at the table. I'm happy yes. to be yes. here. Yes. yes. At the seat at the table. Of course, Selena <laughs> Johnson is traveling this weekend, and Miss Quad is still recovering from a pretty bad cold. So everybody will be back in business on Monday. So thank you so much for being here with us on Sister Circle Live. So, you know, we talked about um, a little bit about radio, but let's talk about how radio is so male dominated. Mm -hmm. um, we all have experienced that. I know all three of us. But how have you been able to stay true to who you are surrounded in this uh, business by men who are, you know, very opinionated and very strong? <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, and even at that, there's sixty percent of radio listenership is female. Absolutely, but, but yet mm -hmm. men Absolutely. dominate and make the most money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's really important for us. Like when I first started, knowing that I had never had experience, I still had. You know, I was very humble when I first started and trying to learn. Right. I never felt like I was above anything. And one piece of advice I got was be on air as much as possible. Yeah. That's how you get better. And I think, like, for radio, the one way that I was able to get better was to be on air as much as possible and listen to myself. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's It's almost really like stand-up comedy. Right. Mm -hmm. How you get better is how many stages you hit, yeah. recording your sets and listening yeah. back to them. Yeah. Well, you know, people always ask me, like, how can I get into radio? And I'm like... If it's an internet show, because there's a lot more ways than when I first started now. If yeah, it's a of course. podcast, anything that you can do, if you can go online and do your own thing, mm -hmm. just do it. Get experience. Put yourself out there. Work really, really hard. Like, there's no shortcut to that. Because it's not like it sounds easy, like just get on mm -hmm. and just talk. Yes. But does it, it, does people, it make you feel a certain way when people tell you as a comedian, oh, I can be funny? Or, yeah, they oh, think I they can just the do it. Well, it's just like, like, you know, when mm -hmm. we, we talk about how the social media comics now can just come in and, you know, it's, jump over the veterans yeah. because they have more followers. I bet it's, 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 it sounds like the same thing in radio. Right. Yeah, right. It, yeah, you know, because you have more avenues to get in and jump over people who've put in the work. Yeah. Absolutely. But, you know, when they hit that stage, if it's not good, it's not right. good. That's what on radio, too, that they get on radio and they fly. Well, yeah, because when the when the when the red light comes on, people are like, hey, I talk. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, make a joke. Yeah, talk all that junk you said that you said. Right. You can do one minute on Instagram and you do it for forty five. Like, <laughs> yes. I thought you said you could do it. Right. 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 Okay. Right. And you are known on the show for doing uh, what they call the rumor report. Mm -hmm. Everybody <laughs> tunes in to hear mm -hmm. Angela Yee d do that. Mm -hmm. Do you sometimes feel the pressure of sometimes if it truly is a rumor and people may confront you like, okay, we thought you were cool. kind of yeah, yeah. cool or telling the truth and uh, or the drama of maybe people feeling that you're being negative are being fool, uh, pulled into Messy. the foolishness of, mm -hmm. of yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not like, at the end of the day, it's the rumor report. So that's my disclaimer already. It's right. all alleged. Right. Um, <laughs> you just assuming it happened. But yeah. I will say this, like even in that, sometimes there's a lot of things I know that I don't put in the rumor report and because it's not out there already. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I try to be responsible as far as reporting things that have been already out and circulating. So you so do have the ability to say, okay, I'm not saying that. Right, I say, well, okay. according to right. this source, this source. Is, you know, they you don't feel the need to be the first one to report it. You wait for if you, it's something that I know for sure is true, and I know it's not going to hurt somebody physically or you know somebody's marriage or something like that. Like if I have a conversation with one of my friends, say I'm good friends with Seven Streeter, mm -hmm. and she tells me something, but I'm like, girl, is it okay if I break this news? Right, right. Mm -hmm. I'll do that, but I don't ever want to be that person that people feel like Angela's in the room. <gasps> yeah, we can't. So you have a backbone, unlike some people we know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like. I don't want to be at an event and people are like, man, Angela's here. Everybody can't do anything. Right. We can't be comfortable because right. she's here. Or I they feel want... like they have to censor themselves. Right. right, right. So I want people to know that I'm responsible enough that in my, I don't want my real life to actually. Um, I don't want to affect my real life mm -hmm. with my professional life and do things that I feel morally I shouldn't. Right, right. She has, <laughs> she, that, that she, has she has morals. She that, has that's morals. That's, that's a good. Morals. That girl that's got good parents. She was raised right. right. She was yeah. raised right. So let's talk about how it, women in radio, they, they pit us against each other. Mm -hmm. And like, oh, I man. have to say, because I'm sitting between you ladies, <laughs> this is a full <laughs> circle moment for me. So when I was on Hot 107.9 <laughs> and my radio show was um, taken off the air, the Ricky Smiley Morning Show came in, and Ebony was there. And then when I was at my last radio station on 94.5, and they said, well, Rashawn, your last day today, and The Breakfast Club is coming on with Angela Yee. So now I'm in the middle of both of you all, which is a full circle moment, but we're all still good. Right. Let's yeah. talk about how men, or just the industry, tries to pit us against each other. 
Yeah, that's, I mean, and I told you when I first came in, I knew about you because after we took over in the morning, they were, everybody was going so hard for you. And I think that's important. Like, wherever you yeah. go, you do such a great job. Like, right. yeah. Ebony, if you were gone, people would go crazy. Mm -hmm. you know, and they did. They did. Right. And they did. And they, did. And they, did. And they still yeah, yeah. are. Yeah. 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 So you know how that is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think that's what's really important for us, like to do such a great job that you are missed. Like if you're mm -hmm. absent, if I miss a day at work and Envy has to do the rumor report and he can't read that well, you know. <laughs> that's it, they're going they around. They miss me. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. But when I first started at Sirius, I remember it was me and Amanda Sales and she was Amanda Diva. And I was the only woman on my station mm -hmm. and she was on a different station. So when I first came, they were like, you know, oh, Angela's coming. She's trying to take your spot. And me and Amanda ended up being really good friends and right. you know, doing a lot of things for each other. I think we can't get, let people get in our head. Yeah. You know, and I've had situations where people have been really nasty to me um, when I walked in the room or when I first started at the station. You know, people had issues with the fact that I was a woman because they feel like there's a certain amount of spots for a woman. Mm -hmm. And if right. there's too many of us, then we're all competing for those spots. But that's it's not It's the true. same in this industry. Yeah. Whether it be comedy, whether it be acting, right. we all are dealing with the same thing that they'll give one spot and have 5,000 women going for that one spot. Right. Okay. But they'll have 4,449 4, 4, spots for 5,000 men. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You yeah. Know? All right. Mm -hmm. Well, we're having so much fun with Angela. Uh, when we come back, she's going to answer some of your questions. Okay? It's Ask Ye up next. <laughs> <laughs> Don't miss it. Right here on Sister Circle Live. <laughs> That's the best when you everybody's like, Welcome back to Sister Circle Live, continuing our conversation with Angela Yee from the very, very famous The Breakfast Club, which you can hear all across the country. I yes, know, yes. Okay, you had a good question. I mean, this question has been burning me because I, I'm seeing a lot of similarities between, you know, the stand-up comedy world, mm -hmm. the acting world, mm -hmm. and the radio world. And I was just wondering, you know, being in a male-dominated industry, you know, we deal a lot with the, the unequal pay, mm -hmm. where, you yes. know, I've been on shows where I might be headlining, but all the male comics get paid more than me. Oh, That's my crazy. Gosh. So it's like, you know, do you, do you deal with this? How do you deal with it mm -hmm. when you know that you're just as intricate part, if not more, mm -hmm. than your male counterparts, but you're not getting paid the same Oof. or more? I've definitely asked for raises in my lifetime. And I, I know sometimes, and I did this because I read an article about how women don't ask for raises as often and we don't negotiate like right. we should. Yep. Right. So right. I think it's really mm -hmm. important for us to negotiate and to make sure that we ask for what it is that we want because sometimes even for ourselves we act like we're just happy to be there and mm -hmm. we're grateful for an opportunity but when you get to the point where you know your value and you know what you're worth right. then you have to demand that and I think it's important to also know that all those opportunities I don't need this because I can have this or this or this right. Right. so if I decide to do this I need to get compensated for what it is that I chose to do yeah. do you think as women we have to like step lightly choose our words because you know the first word they want to call us it, when we ever do stand up for right, ourselves right. <laughs> do you find yourself having to choose your words carefully I think that I just try to be prepared like when right. I want to come in and demand something if I'm headlining if I can come in like when I sit down and have a meeting I just make sure it's not that I need more money I deserve more money yes. more money and right. this is why. And it's important for me to always just have all of that so that I can go in with the facts and the stats. Yeah. Well, that's right. What's your preparation like? Um, you know, because you, you do have two uh, males that you work with. <laughs> do you feel like you have to be more prepared than them going in each morning? I think I, well, I certainly am. <laughs> and, Ooh, yeah, that's I mean, I am. Right, I do my, right. listen, I do my rumor report. I look up the news the day before. In the morning, I refresh it. I usually get there, you know, because I'm in makeup, because mm -hmm. we do, we're on revolt every right, morning. Right, I'm right. in there, you know, earlier than everybody anyway. So all of those things, it makes me feel good to be more prepared. Yes. Yeah. So if I, I choose to do that, do I have to do that? No, but I think that it helps the show a lot. Yeah. And it helps mm -hmm. me a lot. Like, I've always done all my own research. It's not like I have interns that come in and have that papers put, it, put out I do it you. on myself because I think it just makes me better at what I do. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I think we have some ask ye questions right now. You better emphasize uh, that, Kay. Ask <laughs> ye. Yeah. Yeah. Ask ye. No. All right. All right. So we got Papa Rots TV. LOL. Ask ye. Is she uh, mate? Wait a minute. Curry or jerk chicken? Oh, jerk chicken. Mm -hmm. Do you make curry yeah, or jerk chicken? You have to correct it as you oh, go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ask ye if she make curry or jerk chicken. There you go. There it is. So do you do you even cook it up? 
I do cook. Okay, good. And what's crazy is that there's only like a few select things I can make, but I can make those few select things very well. Okay. <laughs> what, 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 what are they? Yeah. What, what are they? Absolutely. First of all, I love cooking in my wok. I think if you don't have a wok, everybody should own a wok. Yes, it's like yes. the easiest thing to chop up whatever you want, throw everything in a wok and cook it, and it cooks fast and it always tastes good. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's like my number one thing to do. And uh -huh. um, it's all about whatever sauce you put on it. And oh, I love spicy right. food, so anything spicy, like everything I make is always... Yeah, no, it's going to be right. You ain't the one that's putting Wait spices on the unnecessary stuff, though, Angela. <laughs> you don't put cayenne on oatmeal. Is it curry or jerk? <laughs> um, I would say jerk. Okay, jerk. Okay, good, good, good. We got one more. Here we go. Or a few more. Here we go. Uh-huh. Uh it says, are you behind Nicki Minaj Ooh. and her queen radio antics? Is she speaking up for women or just Ooh, making noise? One. Thanks, Cody Banks. <laughs> well, Nicki Minaj has an album out right now, and I think, you know, she was planning to do this queen radio. It's a different outlet for her, for people to see another side of her. So I think it's important for her to... Um, she has a good body of work. Let's focus on that. Yeah. You know, if we right. say it's not about the numbers or being number one... Then okay, let's I, keep it 100. Yeah. Cardi yeah. B got her shook. Yes! <laughs> Can we keep it 100 for a second? Cardi B got her, got her I, shook. You know what? I haven't spoken to Nicki Minaj at all, so I can't right. say what's going on for her. Like, that's personally. good. But she's that's acting like she's shook. Yeah, I, I really <laughs> don't, you know. Right. It's hard for me because okay. I like Cardi B and I like Nicki Minaj. Well, hey, I love them both. Right, and I, I hate, like, we talk about women being pitted against each other, uh -huh. and I feel like that's what the situation is here, you know? Mm -hmm. I yeah. feel like at a certain time they tried to work together. They did the motorsport song. They were right, both on it. Right. I don't know how that gets lost in translation, but, but I think it's important. Who do you think is going to have the longevity? Who's going to win at the end of that race? Man, that's hard. Nicki's already had longevity, and yeah. Cardi's right. a newer artist. So the way that the music business is going is so different, too. Yes. It's and not just it selling albums now. It's mm -hmm. streaming, it's touring, mm -hmm. it's merchandising, it's everything. All of that. Yes. So I think, yeah. um, you know, Cardi's still getting started in this. And I think Cardi gets very affected by things yes. that happen online because she's not she's still She's still susceptible, yeah. Yeah. you yeah. know, to So she's that. just got to make sure that she is mentally on point because yes. it's tough business to be in with yes. everybody. Stay strong, Cardi. Yes. Yes. You can yes. do it. Yes. <laughs> And I love you too, Nikki. Right. Before we let you go, uh, Angela, I know that you are working on some amazing things. So Juices for Life is your juice bar. Talk a little bit about Ooh, that. Yay. Oh, yes, I do have this juice bar in Brooklyn. It's been open for two years. Okay. Hey. Hey. Black Girl Magic working with a business. You know, I'm trying to be a vegetarian or at least do better. So right. I'm working on that. But I don't eat red meat, seafood, or pork, and I haven't had those things in a long time. I'm trying to give up chicken, but I love chicken. You <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's it's okay. So yes. Yes. But, you know, I think life is about balance, right? Yeah. So if I know I'm doing unhealthy things sometimes, I got to make sure I go to the juice bar and get my wheatgrass shot and my ginger shot right. and all of those things. And, um, you know, I have a press juice business that's a subscription-based business that's oh, actually good. launching this weekend. Oh, right, congratulations. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm yes. you up. Yes. So I'm going to send y'all some. You, oh. you know, people say they send us I really stuff will. and then, you know. Hilarious. I, I, I no, need. I will stalk you. Yeah. <laughs> I, will stalk, I will ask you to death. But <laughs> I, I'll tell you this. I don't never really get sick. I never call out sick from work. And that's really because I think, like, like juicing and all of that makes right. me healthier. You treat your body. You treat your body well. Because right. it's yes. a lot to be up in the morning and to be on for right. everybody yes. else. We know yes. all about Don't it. And you want to taste good, too. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We got to go. Yeah. Oh, 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 you got one? Oh, she said yes. Go. Oh, okay. okay, go. Okay, we're going to call this the first, uh, I guess, sister circle, this or that. Okay. As soon as uh, I ask, you tell me, okay? Okay. What you think. Uh, uh, churches or Popeyes? Mm, Popeyes. Yeah, All right. spicy. Um, late White. night or early morning? Late night. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, on the beach or in the mountains? In the mountains. Really? Uh, <laughs> the beach uh, is clean overrated. shaven or beard? The beach is overrated for certain things. <laughs> um, I like a uh, clean shaven. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Tay Diggs or The Rock? Mm, I'm going to say The Rock. Okay. <laughs> Charlemagne or children. Envy? Charlemagne or Envy? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Envy because Charlemagne left me deserted in North Carolina one time. Oh. I'm still, um, still harmed by that. Oh. I have to drive back to New York. Oh. Job what? opening. Job opening. <laughs> Thank you so much for being a good sport. We're very you. successful. Thank you. Congratulations. I'm very happy girl. for all of your success. Continues yes. on this amazing journey that well, you're on. Well, I would on. love for all my mornings to be like this. So yes. thank you guys. Yes. Awesome, awesome, <laughs> awesome. You're so lovely and pleasant. Yes, as well. yes, 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 yes. Make sure you check out The Breakfast Club on Power 105 and all across the country. When we come back, we'll hear from you and what the people say. Stay with us. Hey, Angela. Yeah.